what's up guys blunt guts here it is friday morning that means it's summoning morning so i am getting into it today uh let's take a look at what we got so i've got 36 of these although before we start taking stock i'm actually going to go buy the friday pack because i feel like it uh i've been I'm pretty good about spending recently so i'm going to treat myself a little bit uh if you don't know this pack is pretty fantastic value um it's about thirty dollars us less if you buy w gold on smile one or photoshop or you know wherever um i actually think i, I paid 28 dollars for this w gold which is going to get me 40 summons from this uh, plus another 900 gems which uh you know if i wanted to convert that into into rare summons that would that would end up giving me um about 50 summons so uh pretty great deal i definitely if I am going to spend on something, this is usually what I spend on. If I'm buying summons, I think the summons are typically pretty overpriced in this game. Um, but, uh, you know, we're treating ourselves today, so not a big deal. Um, so, we've now got 76 summons. We've got 8,500 gems. I'd rather not touch those. I'm trying to use all my gems primarily for uh, for farming at this point. Honestly, I think that I, it's better bang for your buck uh, than that. Uh, if you think about it, I guess on a two times, 800 gems is about... A 10% chance to get a Lego uh, on a normal banner, like say this Hex 10X banner right now, we're talking about um, a 5% chance to get a Lego from 800 gems, which is uh, roughly, what, 3,000 or so uh, stamina. So for me personally, I think where I'm at it in the game, as much as I'd love to get some awakenings on some, on some champions, I am far more interested in getting uh, getting more gear, getting more artifacts, really ranking up my account that way. I think that's where I'm going to get most of my progression right now. Now, I'm sure at some point, you know, you can only farm so much. Uh, there's diminishing returns on everything in this game, whether that's summoning, whether that's gear. So uh, at a certain point, I may shift this back over and start saving up for some 10Xs and things like that. But, um, you know, unfortunately, the 10Xs, I think they're not they're not quite as good as they used to be. Um, some of you may have seen Facidius's uh, breakdown of the I guess they did some data mining and they were able to find out what the what the game thinks the drop rates are they compared them to all the stats that Facidius has been collecting and relevant to this banner so Hex actually is one of the rarest legendary heroes in the game he has uh, I believe uh, about a um, one and 1.125 percent drop rate uh, so you means you have a 1.125 percent chance to to pull him if you pull legendary so a lot it's about one in about, uh, I think about 90 or so. Um, Legendaries is going to be Hex. I've been lucky. I've actually pulled him twice already. So I don't know that I'm going to get lucky here. Um, if you aren't aware, that's not the right place, is it? Where's the summon? Yeah, it is. Okay. If you go to the summoning record in here, which is something that they added in the last patch, you can actually count up your mercy. It is kind of a pain. I wish they would just give us a number and say it's been X amount of summons since your last Legendary. Um, but they didn't. So I did go through here and I counted up. It's been about 95 rare summons since my last Lego, which was, where is she? Constance. There we go. There she is. So about 95 for that. So that means that I am 105 away from being at, uh, getting into rare mercy. Uh, I'm another 20 after that to be guaranteed a Lego. A Lego. So uh, that, that's 125 summons. As you can see, I do not have that many rare summoning crystals right now. I would have to use uh, around 3,500 gems out of this to get there. So uh, that's, I, I'm not really sure what the right thing to do here is. Honestly, I think I might start off on the 2X and, and pull this these 76. If I get to a point where I haven't gotten the Lego uh, after this, I will then probably switch over to the Hex banner and do that. Uh, as far as the divines, I've actually got 19 right now. Um, so I, I, it's been 16 since I last pulled a Lego on here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna summon on the divines until we get until we get a Lego, and then I'm gonna switch over to the 2x, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna get some some new heroes, or, or maybe I'll get some heroes that I already have that I want awakenings on. I would be very okay with that as well. Uh, as far as what I'm looking for, um, I've actually got most of the heroes in the Lego pool, in the in the, the regular Lego pool anyway. So uh, the big ones I don't have. I don't have an arrogance. Um, 
Believe it or not, I do not have a Sadie. Uh, where is she? My throne. Um, Sadie would be fantastic for my account. There's a lot of places in Codex where she's really valuable. Uh, so I, I would be excited to use her there. Um, and then Star Piercers, I, I'd love to pick up just one of these uh, AOE marksmen, whether it be Razak. I guess I'd, probably Razak is, is the one I'd, I'd want the most. Um, I, I love Pelagios, but he's, he's not available on his banner. So um, I, I won't be getting him. But uh, Nyx would be okay. Kai would be okay. I don't have a legendary AOE marksman. I did finish the Piercer Trials with um, with Theowen, uh, <laughs> uh, with, with the Fusion Epic. I, in fact, uh, Livian was was pretty amazing in that as well. So I would, I, you know, you can make do with a lot of different champions. I don't really need these champions, but just for the purposes of kind of filling out my roster and, and having, you know, a legendary champion for each role, it would be nice for that. I would love a legendary Lord. That would be ideal. But um, yeah, so that's the plan, guys. We are gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, I think I'm gonna start off, like I said, on this two X. Uh, I'll summon on on this until I get a Lego, and then I'll probably switch over to the two times. So uh, let's uh, let's get into it. Let's see how it goes. Well, we got some purple. I'll take that. Oh, and the other thing I should mention too. Is, is I'm gonna, I think my, my plan is that I'm gonna pull until we get to um, 7K on that, on the, uh, the event right now so that we can pick up all of that. But I'm gonna get 7,000 points in here so that, so I, I may stop after that once we get to that point. That may be where I end up actually stopping, but I wanna get those uh, legendary skill crystals. I need that dust as well. And there's some good rewards otherwise. There's some di more diamonds in there, so maybe that can kind of defray the cost <laughs> that I'm gonna have, uh, you know, if I do have to dip into my gems. But so we got another seven there, so we're actually kind of back up to even. Um, let's get back into it here. Nothing there. Oh, we got a, we got an epic. I'll take epics. Maybe double epic. That'd be nice. Just want the points. Sirene, I have had pulled so many sirenes. And I don't know what it is, but I just, I like to go back to this page before I summon. I seem to have had better luck that way. <laughs> it's not working today, 30 summons. Uh, what, two epics at this point? There's a mall, I've already got him at A5, but he's a fantastic champion if you don't have him. So uh, certainly worth the investment if you're considering leveling him up. Let's see. No Lego again. That's 40. Got a Theo one. I did just talk about how great he is, but I also have him in A5, and he is a fusion champion, so I'm not sure why he's on the banner, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. And nothing again. You know, 2X has not been kind to me recently. Uh, I think that's just, ooh, well, that's kind. There's a triple, triple epic. I'll take that. That's some points right there that at least so let me see so i pulled 50 from that point i was at nine so I'm at 145 right now do i want to switch over i don't want to I, I i do want hex i'll be honest i don't really care all that much about fairsy but i do want hex i've got him a1 right now i'd really like to get him a3 um let's let's stick to the plan let's stick to the plan we're gonna stay strong here <laughs> And it doesn't matter anyway. Um, I'll tell you what, we're gonna do one more 10 pull on this 2X banner. Uh, oh, hey, that's awesome. You know, I, I did my, my only North Lord was Dagna, so I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that. His old uh, is actually a really good epic Lord too. So uh, that is never a bad thing. So I am, I am okay with that. Uh, cool, very cool. That's exciting. And of course, Lords are worth more points. So is that right? So, Right now, we've done 60, so we are at uh, 155. Is it time to switch over? Uh, I think that it's time to switch over. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. No Lego there. Lots of epics. We haven't had any straight tax pulls, so you know I I won't complain about that. Um, we'll keep going. Lego, Lego, Lego. No Lego. 
No tax. Not too shabby. Take that. A little Drogo, a little Rum Nose, a Sorzus, Brunor, Titus. I think I actually do need another another copy of Titus to fully awaken him, so. All right, all right, all right. I really don't want to dip into the gems, so I'm going to go see if we picked anything up here. There, we got another another rare summon there. Let's see how we're we doing in here. 4,000 points, that's not bad at all, so maybe I won't have to go through all my, all my divines. I kind of want to go through all my divines, so that's there. There is that, but let's see how we doing over here. Get most of the points in here. We'll get another divine, so that'll put us at an even twenty when we get to that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be worth going for too. So, whoops. Um, all right. Anything else we can pick up? There. Anything in the weekly? We get another one there. Love to get back up to 10 so I could do another 10 pull, but I don't think that that is in the cards. So let me see. Maybe there's, is there any, are there any in here? Let me go pick up one more, but I don't think that's going to get us to 10. So let's do some singles here. Maybe we'll get lucky. That would be nice. Not lucky there, but Autumn is a good champion. She's actually really useful in any place where you're going to bring a bunch of Infernals in and you're going to try to burst something down. Uh, I just did a video on bursting down the GR1 boss before you kill anything else. Um, I didn't use Autumn in mine, but uh, I do know that, that if you have a little bit of gear or maybe some, some more Awakened Champions than I had, you actually could have used Autumn to one-shot the boss in a single um, Twin Fiend or Pyros Ultimate. So uh, definitely a solid champion. Not one I need, but uh, definitely a solid champion. So um, if you pull her, don't be upset. <laughs> Sorzis, again. I know Fastidious seems to think that, that Sorzis is indicative of something. Let's, let's hope he's right. Come on now. Nothing there. I will say I, I watched a video from, from Ivy, I don't know, a few weeks ago, and she let slip a a way to tell immediately whether or not you're getting a lego uh, and i'm not talking about the the slow spinning thing and um and all that there there there's a, a visual way that you can identify immediately as soon as you see that summon screen whether or not you're getting a lego and i gotta say i kind of wish that i hadn't watched it 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 kind of has taken a little bit of the the excitement out of the summons for me which which does kind of suck uh but you know, it is what it is. This is the, the exciting part is really getting the Lego, so that you know that that that's still there. But uh, I, I do I miss the suspense. Uh, let's another sources. All right, we got our last regular one here. Let's see what we got. And a cutter. Somebody should give him some help. Um. All right, I'm going to pause this for one second. I will be right back, guys. I'm just going to see where I'm at on my mercy. All right, guys, uh, let's, Ugh, I don't want to dip into my gems. Let's go in here. Let's go in here. I may wait and see if I can accumulate some more rare summons on my own without having to dip into the gems, although ultimately it is kind of the same thing. But uh, let's seven on this banner and see if we can't pick up a hex. That would be wonderful. No Lego. Let's see what we got. I don't really need any epics except for, uh, shoot, Estrid. Estrid I would really like, um, especially now that I got his old I don't actually need any rare lords that I can get from this banner. I can use a Vlad off, but I'll get him from the event pretty soon. So uh, there is that. Uh, let's see. No Lego. That's 18 now without a Lego. So that that does kind of suck. Al is a great champion. She's not on the banner. That would be really lucky. If she hadn't been on a 10x banner multiple times in the last couple months, uh, I have her 
at A5, and I think I have turned her into Awakening Queens about, about 10 times since then, so um, no need for her. But uh, hey, maybe we'll get a Cyclone. That'll be exciting. Moan Hex. This is not a Lego. I was really hoping I would hit it quick because I should be... This is now 19, I think, right? I've used three of them. Yeah, so I, so it's been 19 since I've summoned one. You start accumulating it at tw after 12. So uh, with this another seven since then. So I have plus 14% chance here. So I should be at about a one in five chance to pull a Lego from one of these shards. And there it is. That's a Lego right there. Let's go, Hex. Come on. Let's see that Hex. I want to see you killing that dragon, baby. Come on. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I, I literally have no use for this champion, unfortunately. I mean, I guess I'll play around with her in Guild Boss. Um, but I beat Infernal Faction Trials. Don't know that she would have helped there anyway, in truth. But, um, gosh dang, man. That's, that's disappointing. Um, oh, well. What are you going to do? Uh, let's take a look and see where we are at in these, in these different events. Uh... We got the Vladov shards. That's good. We're gonna get that. I'm gonna get you, Divine Crystal. Uh, <coughs> a little frog voice right now. Man, that was that sucks. That is disappointing. Uh, I would love to keep pulling on the hex banner, but you know, it, like I was saying earlier, it's about an 11 percent chance, even on a 10 times, that you're gonna get him if you pull Lego. So I am not interested in having to pull around nine. Legos to have a to just be hitting that that chance to get hex is really it, it the opportunity cost is too high, uh, especially when you consider that in this game getting duplicate heroes is just so good and there are so many heroes that I would love dupes of. I don't think it makes sense for me or really for most people to be pulling off of this banner. Now it would be one thing if I didn't have hex because he is just a massive boost to your guild boss damage. But uh, I've also I, I hit fifty k on Nightmare 4 over the past uh, week, so I, I I don't really need to bump up my damage anymore. It's really just, I mean, I, I think that the competitor in me really wants to try to boost my damage as much as possible, but I don't really need it. So, uh, oh well, okay. Uh, we're getting closing in on here. Um, let's see. I guess we're gonna do this. I don't really want to, but I guess that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I think we're at about 170 summons, so we may have to pull. That's a, yeah, I don't know. My math is wrong. I'm also kind of about half awake here right now. Uh, I have a work call in about 50 minutes that I have to be on. I'm usually off on Fridays, and uh, out of the goodness of my heart, I'm helping out my work colleagues. So I'm up a little bit earlier than I normally would, but uh, I am not yeah, fully awake at this point. So uh, let's make some bad decisions so my judgment's impaired. <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh, let's do some more. <sighs> Not a Lego, Scorch and Osiren and bump it up. Okay, um, I wasn't pulling on the hex banner either. What am I doing? But hey, it's all right because the game felt like even though I've been pulling on you know two X this entire time, pretty much felt like I needed to go to to pity for uh. <laughs> for a summon, so anyway, oh, all right, let's go sort some stuff, uh, and I'm kind of short on that, let's, uh, let's cash in these rares, at least I'm going to get some, some diamonds back from that, there's another 1k diamonds, that makes me feel a little bit better, um, as long as I have six or seven thousand diamonds at the end of this, I will be I will be happy. Uh, there we go. Pick up another 300 diamonds. It's all gravy. We got this. Um, tch, 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 tch. Nope, that's the wrong banner again. Don't do that. No Lego again. I think we're going to full pity on this. Hey, I think, you know what? I shouldn't complain because I'm pretty sure that that is our first 10x uh, pull without, without at least an epic in it. So uh, that is something. Um, do one more and then I'm gonna take oh nope this is a Lego here we go come on baby I need hex even if it's just day two I'm okay with it 
Okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'll take it. You know what? It's one more step, one more step towards that A3, which is what I'm really shooting for, but uh, I will take it. Um, he's such a badass. If you guys don't have him, I really do encourage you to pull for him. I know I was just talking about the odds being bad, but there are some heroes in this game, and I think he is in that class. He's probably one tier below, say, like your Hatsits, uh, your Silas's. He's not quite there. But as far as getting through the most difficult content in this game, this guy is, is a key piece in a lot of my teams. He has been the MVP in Nightmare Void Rift. I didn't have Silas for a really long time, and I was clearing it, and Hex was by far my best single target DPS in, in those runs. Uh, he allowed me to get through it. Uh, so if you don't have him, I would definitely pull for him. Uh, that, is, that is awesome. I feel super lucky. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Well, we're not going to pull any more rares. I'm glad. See, 7,600 diamonds. That's, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. And I think we may have actually gotten to the end here. Uh, pick up another one of those. And I think since they even the points out, I should be at the same point in the spiritual altar too. I actually think I have a little bit more in there, so I, I don't know what the point differences are, but here we go. Got a couple of skill ups. That is awesome. Um, pick this up. We're not going to be doing any more rare summons. I'll probably pull whatever I get over the weekend on the 2x, but I'm not going to make videos on that. And I think we will go at least until we get one more Lego on here. I think that's what we'll do. Hopefully it doesn't take very long. Harpen. I don't even really know what that hero does. I know he's not very good. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it would be a real kick in the ass if the game decided to just take uh, take all these all these divines from me after I've committed to pulling one more Lego. But Komodo back to back. You see, I see things like that happen enough that I just it makes me wonder a little bit. I mean, what are the odds of that? I don't know how many epic champions there are in the game, but it's got to be about 40 or so. So it's like one out of 40, or what's well, I guess it's a one in 40 chance to pull repeatedly, but still, uh, you know, assuming those are the numbers. It's another leg or another epic. Uh, oh, Cyclone. See, I told you we were going to get him. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, Divines. I just. This is Mari. We don't need Mari. We've got about a million Maris. Where are we at? 11. There we go. There's a Lego. Come on. We're doing a happy dance right now. Ugh. I can't. I don't want to end on that. Well, shit, guys. <laughs> I, I don't want to crash. I guess he's getting the buff, I think. Uh, ah, shit. One more Lego. We're going to pull all of our Divines. <laughs> I kind of think what's going on. Amani's a good champion. I have her at A5, unfortunately, already. But, uh, but she is a good champion. I thought about ranking her up to rank 6 recently um, when I was doing the Infernal Faction Trials. But now I was able to beat it without her. So, uh, no. There we go. There's another one. Okay. I didn't have to pull all of them. That's good. That's good. I say that now. But let's see what we get. Oh! Another Torador. Uh... I mean, it's not really what I wanted, but uh, I would have preferred a different Lego Lord, but I'll take A1 Torador. Sure. Why not? I'm not sure what he gets on A1. I hope it's juicy. I do have a lot of really good Nightmare Champions, and uh, and I do use Valeria in Guild Boss. I use Wrath all over the place still, so um, hey, okay. All right, all right. We will take... Legendary Lord dupes. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for me. I may pull some more later this weekend, but for right now, I'm going to hold off and say that that is enough. Uh, let's see what we got left over here. So, Divines, we've got eight left. So, we started out with 19. Uh, pulled, what, three Legos on that. So, that, that's pretty solid rates. I, I will take that. Uh, we did have to go at least close to Pity on the, on the rares, but we got another Hex, and that's what we wanted. So, um, all in all, no complaints. All right, guys, 
Good luck on your summons. Have a good weekend. I've been Blunt Guts. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you all next time.